What's up everybody, I'm Tim from Timber Ridge Gifts. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make wine bottle candles. We're going to take this plain wine bottle, we're actually going to cut it, turn it into a candle. Uh, to do that we're going to be using the uh, Kinkajou bottle cutting system from Bottle Cutting Incorporated as well as our Saber 2 sanding pad kit. And once we get all done with that we're going to head up to the candle shop. We're going to actually turn this into a candle using their uh, soy candle making kit. Now, if you guys want to see an unboxing and a supply review of this company before we get started, just follow the link right there. Don't worry, we'll wait on you. Alright, everybody back? Alright, let's go ahead and uh, take this bottle, turn it into a candle. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is get our Kinkajou bottle cutter onto our bottle, get it lined up just how we want it, hand tighten everything down. Now we're just going to lock it into place. We're going to go ahead and drop our blade down. Now we're just going to grab a hold of one edge of it. We're just going to spin our bottle. That blade is going to score the mark. And that's going to be the start of our bottle cutting. Okay, go ahead, and go ahead and take our kinkajou off. Now we're done. You can see the score mark. That's going to lead us on to our next step. Now that we've got our bottle scored, we're going to go ahead and put our separation ties on. Okay, we've got those set about a quarter inch either side of our score mark. This is what's going to channel the water that we're going to pour on it and help concentrate that temperature differential right on that score line. That's going to keep all the water channeled in one place and it's going to keep the bottle from uh, cracking in places we don't want it to crack. From here, we're just going to alternate between hot water and cold water. So we're going to take our hot water, uh, hot as you can get it. This was actually boiling just a second ago. We're going to turn our cold water on, we're just going to pour our hot water into that channel and we're just going to alternate back and forth. Eventually that, uh, that temperature differential is going to cause that score line to split. It's going to split all the way through, this top's going to fall off and we're going to be left with the bottom of the bottle for our candle container. There we go, it's just that easy. Then we're going to take our separation ties off, set our top to the side. Now, as you can see, the top of the bottle is going to be pretty sharp, it's cut glass basically. So, to fix that, we're going to take our uh, saber tooth diamond sanding pad kit and we're just going to sand the tops of these. We're going to wet sand it so we don't have all that glass dust flying around in the air. We're going to start with our uh, 60 grit. Get that nice rough layer knocked off. Okay, so we've got that rough layer knocked off. Now we're going to switch to our 400 grit. Okay, we've got to smooth down even more. Now we're going to take our 2000 grit paper and give it a nice shiny polish. And there we have it. There's our uh, finished cut bottle ready to be turned into a candle. 
Now hopefully I didn't fly through that too fast or leave any questions unanswered. But just in case I did, uh, Bottle Cutting Incorporated has got a great how-to section on their website with some great demos and instructional videos. So I'll leave a link in the uh, video description so you guys can go check that out. Or you can just follow this link at the top to their YouTube channel. It's got some great uh, instructional videos and product demos as well. Alright, so we've got our bottle cut. This can be great for a lot of different craft projects. But this is a candle making channel. So let's head up to the candle shop and turn this into a candle. Alright, so we're back here in the candle shop. We've got our wine bottle cut ready to be turned into a candle. So first things first, we've got to figure out how much wax we're going to need to put in this. Now there is a math formula you can do to determine the volume. But it's a whole lot easier to cheat and just and do it the old country boy way. Uh, to do that, we're just going to uh, set our empty bottle on the scale. Go ahead and turn it on, let it zero itself out. And we're just going to fill it with water to the desired fill line. Looks like to get where we want, it's going to be right out of pound. Now we can go ahead and set this aside. And now we can unpack our soy candle making kit. Each kit comes with five wooden wicks and wick clip assemblies. So we'll go ahead and put one together, set it aside for now. And each kit comes with one pound of soy wax. Uh, it works out that that's exactly what we need for this can. We're going to go ahead and put our soy wax in the melting pot. Now you can't do this on the uh, stove top. You can actually do this on the microwave. Uh, if you're going to do it in the microwave, just do it initially for about three minutes, then just bump it 30 seconds each time until it's completely melted. But this is a professional candle shop, so we're going to do it in our melter. Now while this is melting down, we're going to go ahead and finish getting our uh, wine bottle container ready. We've got our wick and our wick clip assembly put together. Now we're just going to take a little bit of hot glue on the bottom of that wick clip assembly. Now we're just going to center it in the bottom of our container. Now wooden wicks are great and very easy to stabilize, but just to give it a little bit of extra help we're just going to take a popsicle stick and a clothespin. We're going to arrange it just like that. Now we can kind of eyeball it. Get that wooden wick perfectly straight. We don't have to worry about it moving around on us later when we pour. So we're going to set that aside. We're going to want to let this melt down. We're going to heat to about 150, pull it off, and we'll go from there. All right, so we've got our wax melted to 150. We're going to go ahead and add our fragrance oil. For this, we're using a nice Cabernet because this is, after all, going to be a wine candle. Alright, now we're just going to let this cool to 100 degrees and we'll be ready to pour. Alright, so our wax is cooled to 100, now we're going to pour. We're just going to pour it very slowly straight down into the center of our container. Just go real slow, try not to let it splash around any. I fill it about a quarter inch from the top. Now we're just going to wait about three or four hours, let this completely cool. We'll be ready to finish it up. All right, we're back. Our candle's completely cooled and dried. Now it's ready to be finished up. To finish it up, all we got to do is just trim our wick and add a label. To trim the wick, wooden wicks should be cut at an angle to give them the best chance of burning properly on their initial burn. So to do that, we're just going to take our scissors. And we're just going to kind of eyeball about a 30 degree angle. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. Now all that's left to do is put our label on it. A lot of bottles have this line down the side, so it makes it quite a bit easier to get the label on there lined up just right. We're all finished. There is our lovely Camo Cabernet candle. You guys know me. You knew it was going to be camouflaged. That's really all there is to it to make gorgeous candles out of recycled wine bottles. Hope you guys enjoyed the demo of the great products from Bottle Cutting Incorporated. If you guys missed the chance earlier to check out the unboxing and supplier review, just follow this link right here. Uh, make sure you watch that review. There's an awesome giveaway opportunity at the end of it where one lucky subscriber can actually win everything you see right here. Check out that link for that review and giveaway. Thanks for watching, everybody.